I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your general weekly reading this week. Now, Libra, I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Libra, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, Libra, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you, Libra, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card called out to you the most and how it does because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And if you find a card that resonates with you, I would really appreciate it, Libra, for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it, Libra. And you take the time to do that to me for me. Help a fellow Libra out, right? I'm a Libra Scorpio custom. I love me a Libra, right? I always say I can tell when I'm talking to a Libra because it's just like Libras are the best sign in my opinion, but complete bias. Um, yeah, and finally, Libra, I'm sure I don't have to tell you this, but this reading's here just to give you some perspective. I'm not here to make a decision in your life, just something for you to go throughout your week for some food for thought, right? So with all that being said, Libra, let's get into your reading with the overall energies this week for you. We have the Three of Cups, as well as the Two of Wands, with the Full Moon in Leo. Don't get let pride get in the way. So this card has been coming up for a lot of Zodiac signs, actually, which is really interesting to me. A lot of people, uh, but see, I was like, I don't think I've even touched on it too much for the other Zodiac signs, Libra, but um, I'll get into it with this one, I suppose. When you have this card, I feel like this is more so of a... Um, kind of like a relationship with your own ego. I feel like pride is a little bit too of a, too boastful. I don't know if that's the proper word I'm trying to like use, but it feels more, I get the sense that Libra, you almost like stop blocking yourself from your own happiness. So where it's just like, maybe like your perfectionism, right? Maybe you want to, you, you only want to put out something or do something when you know for a fact it's going to come out perfectly, right? And you know how everything's just going to pan out. And if you don't, then you don't bother with it. You don't want to engage with it. Even if you feel it deep inside of you wanting to lean into this opportunity or whatever it is for you, Libra, there's just like that part of you where it's just like, well, it's not good enough for me in the sense of where it's just like what you would put out there, you you have a higher standard, which is not a bad thing, but it can be a bad thing when you start blocking the blessings in your life because of it, because it's like you will continue to stop uh, doing anything or prevent yourself from doing anything, Libra, just because it's like, it's never going to be perfect, right? And that's one of those things of where, Libra, you have to accept that you're per even if it's not perfect, it's still worth putting out. Even if it's just okay work, you still have to see that quality for be, to be something that's like worth being acknowledged, worth being noticed, right? So let's get into the tarot side of it. With this Three of Cups and this Two of Wands, this is a really celebratory card. This is a card, uh, cards rather. This is letting me know, Libra, of two things. One, for those that already, for the Libras that already know what this Two of Wands is for, because the Two of Wands is about that self-reflection, um, figuring out what it is that you want to do in the world. Uh, the bigger picture of things usually and the three of cups is that celebratory card right of kind of like things just working out right so as long as you don't let pride get in the way and stopping you from uh receiving your blessings and you just do it right whatever it is that you have whatever that two of wands energy is for you whether it's like a passion project whether it's a person uh regardless it would turn out well is if you if you don't uh stop your, or block yourself from allowing the experience in some type of way right don't argue with the universe right when they try to give you a blessing don't argue with it and say are you sure <laughs> just go along with it right so libra enough of that general energy we'll keep it my we'll keep it in mind for your cards uh going throughout this but we're going to start getting into your career now we're going to start with career, then we'll go into socials for your Libra, and then we'll go into overall energies, messages from your spirit guides, archangels, whatever it is you subscribe to, Libra. So starting out with your work, your career, your finances, Libra, you have the Ace of Cups, beautiful card to have, your cup filling over. This is almost like a sense of relief is something that I'm, I heard when I picked up the card, Libra. So definitely for my Libras with that Two of Wands through uh, Cups energy, this is something that you were putting a lot of energy into, and it's almost 
almost like once you, maybe some of you Libras already acknowledged where the blockage is, was coming from on your, um, your side of things, right? Not to say that the blessings aren't coming just strictly because of your own blockages, right? I mean, it's life, right? I'm sure there's always just like a bunch of hurdles that we have to go through and it's more than just to us. But when you take care of the part where it's yourself, Libra, that's when truly the blessings come. And truly with the, that's when you allow the your cups to like overflow that's when um when you start honoring what's in your heart and just letting it be seen rather than trying to hide it away hiding your passions away hiding whatever it is away even just hiding yourself away and your talents libra that's when like a lot of success comes and i'm laughing right now because of these cards and clarifiers i pulled for it and i didn't get this chance to look until now in the back of the deck energy three of cups is following you libra <laughs> this is turning out to be a wonderful reading and <laughs> i personally enjoy it just because again like i said i'm a libra so i'm just looking at this i'm like oh what's up honey like we're thriving right now in our career at least i see things working up towards that way three of cups coming in again as that celebratory card dare i say it's when some of you libras don't even believe in this happening like or when it does happen you were you're kind of like tilting your head being like wait a minute really right almost like you're in disbelief of how the result of it not necessarily um reaping the benefits of it necessarily but more so the impact it has um because that is the word i keep on hearing is the impact and like what all it actually means for you uh we have the sun card following you with this clarifier beautiful card to have this is the best card to have in the deck um which is just overall promising like the you know i always say like the rainbows and sunshine but in this case it is kind of like the rainbows and sunshine of where it's just like things are just libra are going to start finally working out for you now i'm not seeing like a moon card i'm not seeing too many wands um for this uh row in specific right so um not like a chariot or anything like that so um this doesn't give me the sense of where it's going to like be immediate uh where it's just like an overnight kind of success thing not in that case whatever but it feels like things are just going to start flowing easier you're not going to feel as much of a perhaps like a resistance uh soon in your life uh when it comes to like managing your finances trying to like uh take your job off the ground your career off the ground those projects off the ground right you're going to be going into a lot more stability with this king of coins right king of coins is all about just laying down the groundwork to build up that empire right i see the king of coins as someone that lives in like a, in an empire just filled with gold right where i think there's even like some historical figures that have something like that as well similar in that sense where it's just like they have so much wealth that they just can flaunt it in whatever type of capacity that they feel like it um and so when you're heading in that it's just it's very beautiful i see this as being you libra even though this is earth energy with this king of pentacles i see this being you of where it's just like <sighs> the sun is starting to finally shine on your empire as dramatic as that might sound right and then finally we have the seven of wands coming in for you libra so this is definitely like that leadership role this is definitely where you're just taking action for a lot of you libras i feel like it's like um enough is enough sort of thing where you're taking matters into your own hands to really work your way towards getting to that sun really getting to the celebration right and it's finally for my libras that have been really working at manifesting it's really starting to pay out i'm getting so really good cards to have for that libra so let's get into the social situation for you right let's see if the if your energy continues on in such a good way from your career into your social <laughs> well we have two of swords for you libra two of swords is the choice needing to be made with somebody two of swords is that guarded energy uh two of swords is like that indecision when it comes to perhaps handling somebody maybe you're feeling you're feeling guarded and a little bit distrustful i feel like you have the two of swords um recently before as well for your energy libra in regards to your social situation so you've been pretty guarded um allowing energies in right in fact now that i'm referencing like thinking back i know for a fact that you've had other energies like your other readings recently and uh suggesting to you to kind of put down your guard because you might um block off like because you're so guarded and like trying to keep yourself blinded or not trying to see like the chaos of the world i guess um or see like any people trying to come into your life 
uh, there's like this sense of like you might kind of just like be blocking off like potential really good connections. Um, now I know in the other reading it was more so in reference to like career as well because I know there's like some type of collaborative energy but I don't know about this one. We'll see what the clarifiers are. He's not for them but let's see. Let's start pulling some clarifiers for this two of swords Libra. Mm. And then back of the deck energy, the Knight of Swords. So you're in and out with this person, Libra. Some days you feel good about this person. Some days you're just kind of like, how do I, like, what do you do with them, right? That's kind of like the theme that I'm getting for you is where it's just like, you don't know what to make of this person. And so because of that, you kind of just start shutting down. You start just being guarded. Nothing to do necessarily with this person per se, I'm getting, but it's just more so dealings with the mind. Uh, maybe you got you it just feel like you're on high alert Libra uh, So let's look at these clarifiers for you two of swords now We have the devil card coming in here with the ten of wands Along with the wheel of fortune So again, this is one of those things Libra of where it's just like It feels like again, you just don't know whether to let your guard down or not with this person right with this devil coming in as this other person um it just lets me know of where it's just it's kind of like weighing you down as well because it's just like with that back and forth energy that you're exuding with this i know it's upside down but with this back and forth energy that you're exuding with this libra there might even just be like this frustration of just being like how do i handle this what do i do with this person like you know what 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 happens from here right how like what are they even thinking right um, you have the Wheel of Fortune coming in here, and I know this is not going to be what I have to say now, Libra, it's probably not going to please too many of y'all, but the Wheel of Fortune is kind of coming in where it's like, ultimately the decision is yours to make, Libra. I don't really see things opening up anymore, I don't see anything more coming to light um, when it comes in regards to this person on how to handle them, just because um, it seems like... It doesn't matter what they show you or they don't show you, Libra. You're just on guard. So it's one of those things that where you kind of have to just make the decision for yourself of being like, do you see this person? Do you identify this devil as baggage, right? Do you identify this devil as the baggage? Or do you realize that maybe it's like your own projection, right? As it's not for me to decide in a general reading whatsoever, right, Libra? But I do kind of see like you kind of have to... um Give yourself more power in this stop it's almost like just because because it feels like because you don't have all the facts libra um or maybe just because of past situations you're just on guard and you don't know like you don't want to make a decision until you have all the facts and that's just not realistic sometimes you have to have that release and just um enjoy the mystery of a person so you can just learn about them more right uh so Take that as you will, Libra. Let's get into the final messages from your spirit guides, Libra. See what they have to say. We start this energy out with the King of Wands. Very passionate energy. Very, very passionate energy. Forward energy. This is, you know, this is what I was, remember what I was saying at the beginning with your career pile, Libra? Whereas, like, I wasn't seeing too many wands. I see this, again, like, <laughs> I know I said I see you as, like, the King of Pentacles. But I also just kind of sense you with this as well. Well, more so, like, the energy that you're following with as well. Where it's just, like where i was saying where you're having like just forward movement taking matters into your own hands that's literally what this king of wands is about he's taking the torch and be like you know what i'm not gonna wait for nobody you can watch me back there honey but i'm gonna be going over here and i'm gonna be thriving right and you can watch me behind my back tell me how good my back looks honey right that sort of thing so let's pull some more cards back of the deck energy so we have nine of swords coming in here some type of anxiety i do just get this sense of this has been the anxiety that's been hit sitting with you libra there probably has been some type of frustration just in like with the universe just not really being easy on you it's kind of like you've been in the state perhaps of feeling like things have just been going slowly for you no matter how hard you should, you've been working right and so you have a nine of wands here and this is probably why uh, the Nine of Wands is the journey of the self. So if you have been going through a really, I wouldn't say, 
it doesn't seem dramatic, like life or death dramatic, Libra, but it almost is like the stuff that you went through probably in the past, like, two or three months has been really character building stuff where it's really been forcing you to um, search into your own power. And perhaps you wouldn't even realize like your pride uh, or your ego getting in the way or realizing like where it is that you needed to work on yourself unless you were put in this position where things were more difficult for you than normal. Not to say Libra that you've been handed things on a silver platter or a silver spoon necessarily, but it's almost like uh, the universe is just like looking at you, this, your spirit guides are looking at you and be like, uh-huh, you're not tapping into your full potential. This this works, honey, but we need to show, we need to make you uh, realize your fullest potential. And that's what happens here. You get awakened, right? And truly, you go through like this awakening process, something just sparks in you. And you, uh, through like really digging deep, going through that hermit phase where you really learn about yourself, you dig deep within yourself. Libra, a lot of introspection, a lot of self-reflection uh, during this time period for you because you probably have been just like really analyzing um, your life, figuring out where it is that you yourself could improve on, figuring out like, just figuring out like what is not doing, like what's like not doing it for you, right? And then finally, Libra, you have the Two of Cups, celebration. Again, we start this reading out with that Three of Cups. We started with the career. We closed off the career as well with the Three of Cups. The Cups just follow you all throughout. I mean, I guess without your social situation, that's more so just up to you, I guess. And Tulip has an opinion to say. But <laughs> with this Two of Cups, yeah, I just feel like at the end of the day, you're going to be looking back on this time, Libra, and you're just going to laugh about it. You're going to be just sitting on your porch, drinking that sweet, sweet tea or drinking that lovely lemonade and you're going to be reflecting on this time where you really um, learned about yourself and you really dug deep within yourself to really get your hustle going, Libra, in whatever way that looks like. But Libra, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope this uh, was of resonance in some type of way. If it was, be sure to let me know in the comments. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And here we go. South Node to close this off. Don't let your past hold you back. I feel like I don't need to really go into too much detail with this. It's a, like both of you moon cards talk about stuff holding you, yourself, holding yourself back, Libra. So yeah, if you enjoyed this reading, Libra, be sure to share this video with a friend and I'll connect with you soon, Libra. I love you so much. Bye.